Hi guys, Alex here, and today I thought we would go ahead and react to Chantal's new video, which is called Comfort Classics. It's a mukbang today, homemade meatloaf and tater tots mukbang, and I am super excited. It's been a while since I sat down and recorded a, you know, a video review of Foodie Beauty without doing it on live because it's almost like sometimes you just have to when it comes to foodie beauty i love your guys's inputs into it but i'm particularly interested in her homemade meatloaf so let's just get right into it i mean shall we hello foodie beauties <laughs> sam what are you doing sam b-a-u Bees and as usual. Yes, you are. You smell like tomatoes. Hey guys. Oh, the oven. Oh no. <laughs> right on time. Can you just see like Sam crawling all over the raw meat and getting hair all over it? I could just see that. Oh. Hey guys. Hey, hey guys. Hey. Look, there's we hair heard there in was the air. There's hair in the air. My oven being preheated to 370 degrees. And I'm going to make my. Meatloaf. Meatloaf is one of my favorite comfort foods, and Pete's. I think it's one I of his. I absolutely love meatloaf when it's made correctly. It is very good. So I'm interested to see Chantal's. I do think that her cooking skills are they're better than mine. That's for sure. They're better than you know who's. You know the one that we don't like to compare Foodie Beauty to all the time. So I'm interested to see. Looks like she has some Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> favorite foods ever and i'm just gonna have this uh with some homemade french fries in my uh, new deep fryer well they're frozen french fries but i'm gonna fry them in my peanut oil in my new deep fryer and we'll see what kind of side oh vegetables my, i have to do an upgrade from the air fryer to the deep fryer y'all Woo! i love me some fried food what can we fry fried oreos fried snicker bars it but this is it's very simple but it's very good <laughs> so i'm gonna put some worcestershire sauce some ketchup a packet of onion soup mix some panko some black pepper some eggs and i'm not sure exactly how much ground beef this is I'm, like i said i'm terrible with measurements so i'm just showing you yeah, how i make it throw it all in girl we don't have any time for that measurements but it's not really a tutorial or recipe you follow along in a way because i don't really measure my things like i said i can try to start doing that but today, I think I'm gonna put about two eggs, but we'll see, I'll let you know. Anyway, let's get to, let's get to. All right guys, this baby is- Okay guys, it's time for us to make a new recipe today. Today for class, I have some meatloaf. Ooh. Ready to go in the oven, it is very heavy. I think it's probably about a two pound meatloaf. And I just put some ketchup. Uh, I put a little bit of uh, Himalayan sea salt on the top, just a little bit, and uh, some ketchup here on the top. You can add as much as you like, or you can even omit the ketchup altogether. Ooh, like meatloaf sure sauce. Like, I don't know what it is, but my mom makes really good meatloaf. And then on top, she makes some kind of sauce. It's made with ketchup, but it's not just ketchup. It's just so good. Everyone knows how to make meatloaf. Um, if you don't, again, it's very, very simple. But it is a very common, classic comfort food. So we're going to put this in the oven, 375 degrees for about an hour. And then we are going to pan fry some of the slices, fry up the french fries, and eat together. So, let's go. And this is my new deep fryer. Oh, wow, an hour. Ain't nobody got time for that, girl. Mm -mm -mm. Has the lid. And, uh, yeah, got it on minimum right now. Just draining my tater tots. Yeah. All right, guys, so here it is, the finished product. All sliced up. It is very important to let it sit first for about 10 to 15 minutes. That looks pretty and good. Gotta let it solidify, right, girl? No, I don't think that doesn't make sense. And it is good to go. So let's plate this up and let's eat. Let's get to, let's get to. Hey, hey, okay, it looks you? like she has some corn, tater tots, Gatorade, which is kind of new for her, I guess. We're never going to see that coldest water bottle ever again. What a tragedy. That was honestly like a big loss for her, I feel like. She loved the coldest water bottle, but they just, it didn't work out, you guys. It just didn't work out. Is that like some craft singles on that? I don't know about that. Makes it more like a cheeseburger. I'm not really into that, but okay. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm just going to have dinner with you guys. Something very low key. Is that mayo chat? Low energy <laughs> kind of video. I have a Gatorade. I'm going to have a sip here. 
All right. We love a Gatorade moment. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Is there some sirens in there? They're coming for you, foodie. Wee -oo, wee -oo. Okay, so what I made for dinner, my meatloaf. I have an American Canadian cheat craft single. Um, oh, wow. Do they really call uh, it Canadian cheese? On the meatloaf. Crispy tater tots <laughs> in my new air fryer. Air fryer. And my deep fryer. And corn. I love corn. So I put a little bit of sea salt because it was unsalted. Mm. Oh, they really are coming. Mm. Look good. I should have just got salted corn. And glorious gherkins. The pickles are back. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Jalapeno ranch. That sounds good. Mm. Mm. I love me a good pickled jalapeno any day of the week, any time of the day. Not really spicy. This is good for people who don't like spice. Oh, no, I want it spicy. And I mixed ketchup and mayo to make my own mayo chub. Some secret sauce, girl. I don't like to zip fries and mayonnaise. I heard that they do that in, like, Britain. Maybe in Canada as well, the fries and the mayonnaise. But they like their gravy, right, with the poutine. 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 So let's have that. You bite. Mm. This is a quick and easy everyday dinner. <laughs> you can tell that she's just not really that excited about it. Honestly, that meatloaf, it looks better to me than, you know, McDonald's for sure. But for Chantal, I don't really know if that's the case. Depending how you eat. Let's try this. Eat a bite. What? Mm. Ow. <laughs> uh, somebody else's pain is pleasure. Mm. No, that, that's... <laughs> That's psychotic. No, Alex, no. <laughs> oh, I said no. <laughs> Where are you guys having dinner? For dinner tonight? Air. I'm just kidding. Wow, this is extremely melancholy. Oh I've noticed that her videos recently have been pretty melancholy as well. I feel like she might end up going on a journey soon. That's just my prediction um, because it doesn't seem like... She seems to even be getting bored with her content right now, which is just eating mukbangs and things like that. And then she might go back to doing like some sort of journey. We know that Amber is on one right now with her Jenny Craig situation i don't know what foodie would decide to do or if i mean she claims that she's not going to be doing that ever on her channel ever again but you know things happen and she switches up just like that <sighs> i'm not very talkative today <laughs> what's on your oh. mind oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, I was gonna say something. What? But I forgot. Oh. <laughs> I was kind of waiting with bated breath. I was like, she's like. So you guys, I have to tell you something. Anyway. <laughs> If you like sour pickles, you will love the Glorious Gherkin pickles. <laughs> so she does say in the description, not the description, but the pinned comment of the video that she hasn't been feeling great lately, guys. Struggling behind the camera, mentally, physically. Sorry for being kind of glum in this video. I do kind of get that energy off of this one. Yeah, I just don't really feel like myself today. And, uh... And that is kind know. of a position that you put yourself in when your, like, job is YouTube, right? She has to get on camera no matter what. 
Or she doesn't, I mean. Sometimes instead of um, tomato um, <laughs> onion soup, I put the um, clubhouse seasoning, meatloaf seasoning. You can put your own, but. I really like the flavor of those. What is going on, girl? Deep fry is a game changer. Yes, give us nothing. Seriously. Not as healthy, obviously, as air frying. <laughs> but for the amount of eating, like, <laughs> you know. I was going to scrap this video, honestly, but I got reinvigorized with some energy after I read this community post from Foodie Beauty that she just posted where she says, LOL, there's literally a community of people on this platform who react to everything I eat. Let that sink in, now get a life. So we decided to go ahead and finish our reaction to the video because why not? Grilled cheese and tomato soup is another thing I crave. What do you guys crave? What do I crave? Let's see. Um, mashed potatoes, stuffing, um, Thanksgiving dinner, which is coming up soon. I am super excited. <laughs> some, are you for, some of you are from other countries. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, the United States. So different from Canada. It's completely different. No, really. Be interested to see what kind of comfort foods exist in other countries. No. <laughs> <laughs> like ramen. I feel like certain kind of of ramen would be considered like a comfort food in like Japan with like a runny egg in it. Something that that nature. Oops. I really can't think of any story times. Like <laughs> uh, just um, reading her community post. Honestly, it is a little ridiculous, right? This video especially, but you know, we're all going crazy inside. In my day, but girl, you just <laughs> gotta make one up. Come on, like get those creative juices. Oh wait, they're supposed to be real. No, come on, that's not real. In my older mukbang videos and. I mean, I know there's, I've done more in life and more has happened, but either I can't remember it right now. Like sometimes an event will trigger a memory. Just go on like Reddit, girl. Reddit like stories. No, people will find those out real quick. Go to Reddit and like try to twist the story a little bit. So like it's different, but not the same as what was posted. Because, you know, if she does take something right from Reddit, people are going to pick that up right away. Like I said, but, you know, switch it up a or little bit. I'm just, yeah, I'm just like drawing a blank. Creepy pastas. Those, you know, all you do have to read is off of your laptop screen, girl. We know you don't do much effort than that. <laughs> Maybe comment some things you'd want me to talk about. Another TMI. Yeah. <laughs> what? <gasps> what? A, the cutest little bird, like this big, it flew on my window today. And its head was like, <laughs> my cats were freaking out. Mm. There's always like birds just flying headfirst into my window and then like collapsing on the ground. It, it makes me kind of sad, but I don't know what else to do. It scares the crap out of me. I love pickles. Mm. You know that. Who? Us or you? It does kind of look like a little mini cheeseburger, doesn't it? I like the, like, glazed ketchup. Yeah, that is really good, actually. 
Very melancholy. Mm. I love uh, describing her tone as melancholy. It's always at the end of the video. It's very melancholy. Mac and cheese, too. Those are really good. Yeah, mac and cheese. Um, comfort food. So I was looking at Torrid. Yeah. Okay, girl, I'll come through with another Torrid haul. Where's the wig today? I noticed she was sporting that... Um, blonde one the other day and they have some like christmas stuff out like a blonde moment and they have like Be 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 betsy johnson line i thought that people didn't really care about her anymore but i was looking at the clothes and like <laughs> they didn't have that much stuff she's out and there's only like maybe one or two things i thought were cute it's like super expensive super so, expensive I don't know if I'll be getting anything from there, guys. Mm. You can always do a haul, I girl, to the, make um, the money back. Red kind of like plaid pants, but they were out of... They only had like three 2X. So... They were sold out of the... Bigger sizes, last I checked, anyway. <clears throat> so... And speaking up about her community post again, honestly, like the whole situation is just strange. Her sitting here eating this so glumly and melancholily. It's all just strange all around the board. I don't know. Melancholy I'll beauty. <laughs> How many times can I say that? But I'll have a look at some other things maybe do a haul uh-huh i really want to be like a cozy sweater person you know but <clears throat> honestly i just like i find that sweaters are too hot <laughs> it gets cold up there in canada you know? though girl you need something I mean, to keep you, you warm well, right. We sweating under okay. there. For some reason, my elbows get sweaty. It's unfortunate. This is really good. <laughs> she says that, but it doesn't seem to elicit the same reaction that any old meal from fast food I would. I don't have any makeup on. <clears throat> You don't I'm say. I'm ready to do a video for you guys. <laughs> I'm kidding. I said, shh. I know there's a healthier way to get electrolytes, but. I have a case of Gatorade I bought a little while ago and you know <laughs> I'm trying to drink it slowly but surely you know gotta get in all that sugar girl that's the thing about Gatorade though it's just a lot of sugar I can wrap that put in the fridge really you're gonna save that <laughs> You're going to save that mayonnaise. There's a leftover meatloaf. Just waiting for Pete's. Make him some french fries. Yum. Meatloaf was really good. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things that's just like so easy. <laughs> but so good. Like comfort food kind of thing. It is so, good. Now that she said that it was like hot in a sweater, I'm starting to get like hot over here. Woo. It's like 75, 76 degrees out today, which is kind of insane for Pennsylvania at this time. Like it's usually like 40 by now. Yeah, you can make meatloaf too with like any ground meat, you know? Excuse me. If you're vegan with Beyond Meat, ground turkey. I was just gonna say that, turkey. That content, even extra lean beef. 
extra lean <sighs> beef. If I'm using like extra lean beef, it's like it's too dry. You know what I mean? She really so, needs to, I think, remove herself from. I get the feeling that she's doing a lot of doom scrolling, you guys. We need to stop doing the doom scrolling. Yeah. <laughs> Any ways. When the dread of 2020 sinks in. Oh my goodness. I just can't take any more of it, you guys. My dog started barking like crazy. And we're just going to leave it at that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the, the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs> what in the world even was that?